my favorite quotes is, cover the world before it covers you. The world, the globe, this planet that we live on has so many magnificent places to see, so many incredible things to offer, and there's so much out there. So in these unprecedented times, it's important to be mindful that just because you can't go away, doesn't mean you can't get away. And some of the best adventures are quite literally located in our own backyards. The area long occupied by the Mohican indigenous people was first purchased by the Dutch in 1662 and formally chartered as the city of Hudson in 1785. What's so striking about the street is the architecture. I mean, this looks picturesque, man. It looks like a movie set. Situated between Albany and New York City and positioned off the head of the Hudson River, once a bustling whaling port, which if you look hard enough, you can see has left its mark. There used to be a candy store way back in the day. When I was younger, they had penny candy. No way. Yeah. Like the, like the bubble gum, uh -huh. the penny gum. Yeah. yeah. But today, this village is an easily accessible escape to anyone looking for space, fresh air, and like all New Yorkers, a caffeine fix. Hi. Uh, do you want a coffee? Yeah, uh, iced coffee, cream and sugar. Iced coffee, cream and sugar. And I would like an iced mocha with an added shot of espresso. Got it. So this is the spot, huh, to come to get coffee? Yeah. Would you like to go? Yeah, it's, you know, super accessible, family owned. There's no, like, uh, franchisee type places around here, yeah, right? Yeah, no, that's actually, you know, not allowed in city limits, mm -hmm. which is great for local businesses. Yeah. You know? Good community feel that mom and pop kind of business. What's going on? You come to a certain shop and everybody knows your name and you know, usually know what you order and you can't beat that. You really do get that, that, that sense of community here and that small town feel. I mean the energy here is great. It's not just the weather. The weather is beautiful too. Hello! <laughs> so you're originally from Hudson, New York, Columbia County. Yeah. What was it like growing up here and what is it about this city that has kept you here? I think growing up here, it was always close-knit. You knew everybody in the city. Your closest friends were the people that you live next door to. And I think what's kept me here is it's a city that you can make immediate impact. And Kamal Johnson knows a thing or two about impacting his community. All right, off to City Hall. Yes. I gotta say, this is my first time being in a mayor's office, <laughs> but I spent a lot of time as a child in the principal's office, so I kind of feel right at home. <laughs> yeah, I used to spend a lot of time in the principal's <laughs> office as well as a kid. I was a class clown, yep. so I was always getting in trouble, and one of my teachers called me the mayor of the classroom. Uh -huh. So um, as like a joke one day, I made a sign that said, come all for mayor, and I hung it up in the classroom. From then on, I always thought, I wonder like, if that could ever be a possibility. And yeah. that's like kind of where my yeah. political career was born. How old did you say you were? I'm 35, the first African-American to yep. hold this office um, and the youngest in the history of our city. This kid that you're reprimanding today <laughs> could be in charge of your future later. Yeah. Hey, look at this guy. Hey! <laughs> What's going on? Tom! Judge! Judge around here. All right, hello, how are you? I'm the new city council president. You're yeah. replacing Tom, are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tom's moving on. He's telling everyone he's the council president. I mean, you you know everyone. It's almost like you're the mayor around here. <laughs> I mean, I think this dispels a lot of notions about New Yorkers being, you know, not friendly and, and, and rough and tumble. I mean, everyone we've run into has been, I mean, just so sweet, courteous, and nice. There yeah. it is. Oh. Huh? It brings everything full circle. Um, you know, it's just that community feel. And um, I think this establishment has done, you know, a good job at that. And we moved here because we wanted to raise our son in a community and be in a community where we had impact and we were all building it together. We want to support the local community in all aspects, including farming and anybody that's kind of raising to the standards, you know, that we expect and, you know, our customers deserve. You know, we want to support that. You're like, I'm going to make the best damn corn you've ever tasted. I'm about to start eating the entire cob by itself. That's so good. Holy cow. Come sunset, craft cocktails and approachable fine dining fare are plentiful at William Farmer & Sons, courtesy of Kirby Farmer, Kristen Keck, and their dedicated team. We've all had to adjust. COVID has completely changed life as we know it. 
How has that affected your restaurant here and what changes have you had to make to adapt to this quote unquote new normal? Well, I think this this setting kind of says it all. We're eating outside mm -hmm. and Kirby is cooking the food outside. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we're really fortunate for is that we live in a beautiful place with land and space and we can take advantage of it and we can actually showcase it. I mean, this amazing outdoor fire pit, this seating area, was this something that you had acquired prior to the pandemic? We've had the space, but um, we really have only used it kind of sparingly. You know, the dining room has always been our main focus. If you would just walk through the doors, mm -hmm. you know, not at the moment, we're not hugs, but we used to be all hugs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, just like make you feel welcome. And yeah. it's really in the long term, just about trying to all come through this and um, come out stronger on the other end. Yeah. yeah. So. And the mayor's not bad. I hope so. Mayor's yeah. not bad at all. You <laughs> know what, what a year to be the mayor. <laughs> what a year. That's what I said. I was like, talking about a baptism by fire. <laughs> exactly. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. For more, subscribe to First Look and come with me on all my adventures around the world. Who am I kidding? I'm probably sitting at home watching Netflix or playing Xbox. Either way, what are you waiting for? Just hit subscribe already.